Roads are the arteries of communication and trade. In our part of the planet, roads have been playing significant role since primitive times as a basic connector from point A to point B, as well as making immense contribution to socio-economic development and growth of the society. If it were possible for the road to talk, it would have stories to tell, from the scenes of humans' activities from generation to generation. Welcome to Niger State, North Central Nigeria, with about 10% of the country's landmass and largest network of federal roads measuring 2,240 kilometers in addition to the state roads. It is therefore not surprising that Governor Abubakar Sanibello, a trained economist and an entrepreneur, is committing billions of the state resources to road rehabilitation projects to enhance its economic growth. Governor Abubakar Sanibello began his second dispensation with genuine intent to further stimulate the economy and bring prosperity to the state. The governor, like in his first tenure, embarked on a number of road rehabilitation projects, including Gary Matunga Locust and Union Morris Roads. We are much grateful to the government for giving us this beautiful edifice without requesting from him. It came to us unexpected. That means the government has us in mind. The main link road passing through Locust is extremely very impressive and we commend the government for doing it. The contractors too have not cut corners. The job have a very, very, very good. For now, to get into Morris used to be a problem because even the, about three years ago, there was a collapsed bridge around here, which makes it very, very difficult for the occupants to go out and even assess the area. So we are very happy for the effort of the government. So what we want in this area now, after this job, we still have more roads and links. We want the government to assist. Some of the projects have been completed. A few others are at advanced stages of completion and many are ongoing in parts of the state. Those completed include Township Roads Rehabilitation in Zungeru, the forgotten capital of the British Protectorate of Northern Nigeria between 1902 and 1916 as well as Contagora Township Roads. I, I realized the difficulty and how bad that road was. Zingiri being probably the, one of the most important towns in Nigeria, I felt they shouldn't be left behind. So we made a commitment to fix that road and I'm glad it's been completed now. Residents of Zingiri are in better position to tell you how they feel uh, with the intervention of Alaja Bakar Sanibello in Zingeru. Governor Abubakar Sanibello is putting the contractors handling rare projects in Mina, Suleja, Kagara, Agei, Mokwa, Rijou, Kuta and Shiroro Bridge Arena routes on their toes to ensure speedy completion of the projects. Uh, since 1999, no any government has ever conceived the idea of constructing the Makwa Township Road. But His Excellency, Alaji Dr. Abakar Saksan Velo, decided to do that to add value to the commercial city of Mokwa. That is not all. Boso Estate and Tungangoro Tagwai communities are equally benefiting from the landmark initiative of Governor Abubakar Sani Bello. Hardly a week passes by without the Governor paying a surprise visit to rail project sites in parts of the state. If you go to Suleja, presently we have about three road projects that are ongoing. We have the Suleja Township Road that is between Maje and Komba. We have the Jubilee Road. We have the Zaria Road, and all these projects are projects that have direct bearing with the common man. Apart from these, the Mina Kateregi Bidda Road 
has been awarded at the cost of over 23 billion naira and contractor mobilized to site. Dualization of Tunga roundabout to Shiroro Junction has also been awarded at the cost of about 1.3 billion naira, while arrangements are being concluded for the award of many more rail projects, including the construction of two-lane single carriageway of Imani Clinic Road to Industrial Layout Mina. But also to review our budget, so we cannot. Um, I doubt if we will be looking at new roads this year. We'll be doing a lot of maintenances. Take, for example, uh, from City Gate in Mina to Chanchaga, which is a federal road actually. But that road is uh, extremely bad. And um, with rainy season now, uh, it will make life very difficult in Mina. So even though a federal road, we, we have to look for money anyhow to see that we, we at least uh, make it more travel. Even the road between Mina and Suleja are the same thing. So. Apart from these two, I doubt we engage in any new uh, major road projects. We'll just try and complete what we started. Okay. Niger State government is also committing over 6 billion naira to further improve transport conditions and bring sustained access to the rural populace through surface dressing of a number of roads rehabilitation by the second rural access and mobility project, RAM 2. RAM, for example, has done very well. We we paid counterpart uh, funds and, we, and now we have gone further to resurface uh, uh, some of those routes. Our routes are designed as strong sea rural routes where they are just well engineered eight roads. But in Nature State, the governor has taken this bold step to provide double codes of addressing to all these routes. This is to guarantee the sustainability of investment in the state. It is unprecedented. It has never been done. For all these road projects, the citizens of Niger State felt honored. The day before, you know, go fit to pass. But now, with the pass, whether they run, motor they run. We thank God where they do for that one for us. Uh, before, this road is very, very rough for, for shortage. But now we thank Almighty Allah that they wrecked the road for us and we are, we are moving freely. When they were here, we see some people, they come tell us that they want to put this road. They gather boys here, some boys said, it's lie, it's lie. They are telling lie. So now we don't see it with our eyes and we are very happy. All these are in addition to many completed road projects executed during the governor's first dispensation between 2015 and 2019. As a government, we've done reasonably well in addressing this uh, infrastructural deficit. And I'm sure posterity will place us where we rightly belong. As part of efforts to address growing transportation and traffic challenges in the country, Governor Abubakar Sani Bello of Niger State and Chairman North Central Governors Forum is injecting 64 high and medium capacity buses to the fleet of the state-owned transport company NSTA. This is to enable it to provide affordable and alternative means of transportation to the citizens of the state. Already, the state government has taken the delivery of 38 buses, while the remaining 26 are expected to be supplied in no distant future. The vehicles were purchased at the cost of 1.52 billion naira from Infrastructure Bank facility and supplied through Federal Government Initiative code named Move Nigeria Scheme, which all state governments through their transport authorities are accessing. I had a discussion with the Commissioner of Transport. I met with the GM for the uh, Niger State Transport Authority and I drew their attention to the fact that it is very important they maintain those vehicles properly 
so that um, uh, we get the benefits of buying those vehicles. A key step in achieving this feat was our deliberate resolve to make smart and strategic investments by engaging development partners to provide the needed funds and to create a more sustainable and efficient public transportation system in Niger State. In an effort to improve the quality and get enhanced access to healthcare services in the state, Governor Abubakar Sanibello led administration has remained focused in addressing the infrastructure deficit through construction, reconstruction, and upgrading of functional primary health care facilities across the state with modern equipment. We have done uh, a good job of fixing quite a reasonable number of those uh, primary health care facilities. We have a bit of uh, delays with the COVID uh, pandemic, so uh, we're being extremely careful with inflow and outflow of people in and out of our primary health care facilities. But hopefully, uh, once this pandemic is over, the speed will increase. We have made assessment of um, 175 poker facilities that um, will begin this um, program. The administration has also completed upgrade of IBB specialist hospital. In the last one year, now this machine that we have been looking for for for, for years at IBB. Uh, call um, CR machine. Uh, it's like an assisted device um, technique where whatever you are doing, either in a cavity, in the abdomen, or um, just uh, you don't know how to open the tissue, minimal access surgery. That machine is also at the IBD. And in the recent time, uh, an additional x ray has been provided, digital x ray has been provided at the IBD. Uh, to improve uh, the provision of services. The new natal wing of MENA General Hospital and other tertiary health institutions in the state have equally received a boost. A lot has been done to be able to improve that. The number of women who actually go into the hospital to deliver has increased. Um, you, have more, you have more women be, and children being, having access to health care than it, that they had before. Wife of the Niger State Governor, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist with a master's degree in public health and an advocate for the reproductive health rights of women, Dr. Amina Abubakarbello speaks. We are working in about 12 primary health care centers. Basically what we do in those centers is we supervise the women who are pregnant in the communities that are served by that um, primary health care center. Uh, we do that by having volunteers who work together with the staff in the primary health care center to ensure women come for their antenatal visit and they come and have their babies delivered in the hospital rather than at, at, at home. That ensures that they have skilled birth attendants and it reduces significantly the amount of complications and maternal death that um, uh, we see in the state. Dr. Amina Abubakar Bello, founder of Race Foundation, a non-governmental organization whose vision is of a Nigeria where no woman dies from pregnancy-related causes, has organized several vesicle vaginal fistula VVF camps where hundreds of patients in Niger State have had free repairs and have been integrated into the society. What I've noticed the most is the increase in the number of women, because I'm speaking from my field, the number of women who actually present themselves to the hospital and who deliver safely in the hospital, that has increased significantly. Arrangement has been concluded to commence the implementation of the contributory healthcare scheme as part of efforts by the Governor Abubakar Sani Bello led administration to make available and affordable quality healthcare services, maintain high standard of healthcare, ensure efficiency of the system and ease the hardship of the people in the payment of medical bills. The contributor scheme entails that when you are sick, or when one is sick, you cannot just go straight away to a general hospital. You will go to the primary health care facility in your domain. 
The administration of Abubakar Sani Bello has remained a committed partner through the consistent payment of its bilateral agreement with development partners such as WHO, UNICEF, FGN, saving one million lives for result. So I find these development partners very useful, uh, especially because their activity is mostly uh, rural area based. With the outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19, Governor Abubakar Sani Bello demonstrated a proactive sense of leadership by evolving strategies to contain the spread of the global pandemic. Governor Abubakar Sani Bello constituted the State Task Force on COVID-19 with the Secretary to the State Government, Ahmed Ibrahim Matani, as its chairman. Uh, incidentally, Niger State you know, has been one of the uh, early uh, respondents you know, to the, uh, the coronavirus campaign. Uh, when we started, His Excellency uh, saw the need for us to impose curfew. Many people thought you know, this was too early for a state that never recorded any you know, coronavirus incident. As of today, I think that has been the saving grace. The state government reactivated its isolation center at the MENA General Hospital and isolation rooms in all hospitals across the state and disinfected public places. It also established quarantine centers in all principal towns of the state and enforced all preventive measures. To cushion the effect of lockdown, the state government distributed palliatives to the vulnerable groups across the state. Men and women of goodwill and character, as well as non-governmental organizations, supported the state government to contain the spread of the deadly disease. In Mina, we already have a well-equipped isolation center. Probably what we would need that we don't have in those centers is what we will take from these items, but the other items will be distributed to the other isolation centers. Governor Abubakar Sani Bello, like his first tenure, came up with a landmark initiative and is developing the Ruga model through the establishment of 31,000 hectares multi-million Naira Bobi Grassing Reserve to boost meat and dairy production, generate revenue and curb insecurity, especially the farmers' headers clash, which is posing a threat to the corporate existence of the country. Already, 5,000 hectares of land is being developed at Bobby Grazing Reserve by Wamco Nigeria Limited to start the first indigenous milk production company in the country. Today at Bobby Grazing Reserve, we have some major infrastructure being provided. Uh, we're talking about uh, provision of roads, uh, health facilities, you know, for both animals and humans, uh, schools, and indeed, you know, development of pasture. You know, and water supply, you know, for pastoralists. Apart from this, Governor Abubakar Sani Bello led administration is collaborating with the federal government to sustain the CBN Anchor Borrower Scheme towards food security and to exploit all available opportunities in the agricultural value chain. We to engage uh, a lot of our youths into agriculture. We have so many graduates, too many graduates, all seeking for political appointments of, or jobs. Unfortunately, the government, the size of the government is already too big. Additional tractors and implements were also purchased and distributed to local government councils to boost national policy on food security. The main plank of Governor Abubakar Sani Bello-led administration in education has been the expansion and renewal of facilities in schools at all levels. In order to ensure the success of the Universal Basic Education Program in the state, the administration of Governor Abubakar Sani Bello commenced his second dispensation with payment of more than 1 billion Naira UBE counterpart fund to enable it access more funds for the renovation and construction of additional blocks of classrooms as well as furniture. His administration has so far accessed about 13 billion naira following his commitment to the timely payment of counterpart fund. Having fulfilled all its obligations, 2,500 projects covering primary and junior secondary schools 
have been executed in Niger State. Niger State government has also introduced teaching and learning through radio following outbreak of coronavirus pandemic for students of public basic and senior secondary schools in the state. Color of B is minus one. I hope the students at home are following, are, are following us. But I really thank the Niger State government for making this opportunity available for all students. I'm really impressed on it. And I want the Ministry of Education to continue with it. They, they should continue because they are, they, are, they are good. With this opportunity, some people um, have the courage to ask a question about what they don't know about. With what the government has put in place, it has really been helping her. And she's always looking forward to that time to, so that she can pick up her phone and join the, the lesson. In an effort to improve the supply of portable water to some residents of the state, Niger State's government released about 242 million naira for extension and upgrade of water distribution to government house and some areas in Mina. Fencing of water supply reservoirs in Mina and to carry out routine maintenance of Tagway, Suleja, Boso and Kondogora dams. Niger State government has also approved water sector reforms to bring about the improvement of the health condition of citizens of the state. The bill has been passed into law by the Niger State House of Assembly and assented to by Governor Abubakar Sani Bello. This law is giving us an enabling environment for the corporation to be, the management to be foremost and uh, active and for people to get more water as it were. This is in addition to billions of naira committed to the provision and installation of water facilities at the water works in Mina, Bidda, Suleja, Kontagora and Nubusa between 2015 and 2019. <music> Governor Abubakar Sanibello has also paid billions of naira as counterpart contributions to new map and SDGs, which is facilitating the execution of viable projects in the state. <music> Governor Abubakar Sani Bello is also consolidating his first tenure project as it affects information management. Niger State government has equally facilitated the growth and development of 25 local government areas of the state. Most of the local government knew that they are on their own. They have their financial autonomy, so how they come up with their modalities of operation is up to that local government. But not, that notwithstanding, it never deterred the state government from intervening in some of the issues of the local government. In the area of security, Governor Abubakar Sanibello led administration has purchased over 50 Hilux patrol vehicles for joint military operation in the state and sustained war against bandits, kidnappers, and cattle rustlers as well as establishment of Central Security Communication Center control room at the government house and provided assistance to IDPs. We've been fighting bandits for one year. Uh, we make progress and sometimes they come back. Unfortunately, this is a war that has to be done uh, jointly with the neighboring states because most of these bandits are not here. They reside, they, they come in from neighboring states, they operate and they go back. They have made life very uncomfortable for our, our people over here. You know, His Excellency has facilitated, you know, some uh, specific operations, you know, through, you know, the support of uh, the Nigerian Army of, and the Nigerian police. And of course, His Excellency has also continued to advocate, you know, with, uh, you know, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, uh, the service chiefs, uh, particularly, uh, the Chief of Army Staff, you know, the Chief of Air Staff, and uh, the Inspector General of Police. All these are potent milestones and successes recorded by the administration of Governor Abubakar Sanibello in the first year of his second dispensation. 
These are not by any means the end, as Governor Abubakar Sanibello intends to do much more for the citizens of Niger State. Thank you.